dear viewers uh, greetings uh, this video is about the orientation to the microbiology laboratory and this video will be helpful for the students who are all going to enter into the microbiology laboratory and this video contain informations uh, related to uh, the microbiology laboratory objectives students contact in microbiology laboratory basic microbiology laboratory safety measures uh, method for reducing contamination in laboratory uh, disposable uh, disposal of uh, hand gloves and disposal of uh, contaminated wastes in the microbiology laboratory uh, laboratory objectives the main objective of the microbiology laboratory is to teach the concepts of microbiological techniques using the experiments uh, which includes effective hygienic practices aseptic techniques handling of microscopes microbial isolation and identification and cultural characteristics characteristics of various microbes like uh, bacteria fungi uh, protozoa algae etc antimicrobial testing interpretation of uh, laboratory results and finally labeling and recording of the test observation these are all the major objectives of the microbiology laboratory uh, next uh, students contact in laboratory in order to reduce the risk of infection do not smoke eat drink or bring food or drinks into the laboratory do not apply cosmetics or handle contact lenses in the laboratory wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water uh, before working in the lab and after handling the living microbes and before leaving the laboratory at any time and also wash your hands after removing the hand gloves do not remove any organisms or chemicals from the laboratory uh, lab time is very precious uh, so come to the lab prepared for that day's work uh, figuring out what to do as you along is likely to produce conf confusion and accidents work carefully and methodologically do not hurry through any laboratory procedure uh, next basic laboratory safety measures uh, first always wear lab coat in the laboratory while handling the microbes remove the coat prior to leaving the lab and auto and autoclave it regularly uh, do not wear sandals or open toed shoes in the laboratory uh, wear eye protection whenever you are heating chemicals even if you wear glasses or contacts uh, turn off uh, bunsen burner when it is not in use in addition to being a fire and safety hazard it is an unnecessary source of heat in the room or the laboratory uh, tie back long hair as it is a potential source of contamination as well as a likely target for the fire if you are feeling ill go home a microbiology laboratory is not a safe place if you are ill use an antiseptic on your skin Uh, if it is exposed to a spill containing microbes either from the broth or any culture plates never pipette by mouth always use mechanical pipettes uh, use a fume hood to perform any work involving uh, high volatile chemicals or stains that need to be heated uh, find the first aid kit and make a mental note on its location in the laboratory find the fire blanket shower and uh, fire extinguisher note their locations in the laboratory and develop a plan for how to access them in an emergency situations uh, find the eye wash basin learn how to operate it and remember its location in the laboratory and next we are going to discuss the methods for reducing the contamination in the microbiology laboratory uh, always wipe the laboratory working table with a disinfectant before and after each lab works an appropriate disinfectant should be used allow the disinfectant to operate do not wipe it dry never lay down culture tubes on the table they always should remain upright in a tube holder even uh, solid media tubes contains moisture or condensation that may leak out and contaminate everything it contacts cover any culture spills uh, with the paper towels uh, soak the towel immediately with disinfectant and allow them to stand for 20 minutes and after 20 minutes place the towels in the container designated for 
autoclaving. Uh, place all non-essential books and papers under the working table of, the, of your lab. A cultured laboratory table is an invitation for an accident that may contaminate your expensive supplies and other things. When preparing microbial cultures, place a disinfectant soaked towel on the work area table. This reduces contamination and possible aerosols if a drop escapes from the pipette and hits the tabletop. Next, disposal of uh, hand gloves. Uh, if it is your lab practice to wear uh, disposable gloves while handling microorganisms, be sure to remove them each time you leave the laboratory. Uh, the proper method for removal is with the thumb under the cut of the other hand's glove and turning it inside out without snapping it. A gloves should then be disposed of in the container for contaminated materials. Then wash your hands with the disinfectant sauce. And next, wear disposable gloves while staining microbes and handling blood products like plasma, serum, anti-serum or whole blood. The handling blood can be, an, can be a hazardous even if you are wearing gloves. Consult your instructor before attempting to work with any blood products. And finally, uh, disposal of contaminated laboratory wastes. Uh, using autoclave or pressure cooker is the preferred method of decontaminating the microbiological waste and the reusable equipments. Uh, remove all the labels from the test cultures and other contaminated reusable items and place them in the designed, designated autoclave container. Uh, this will likely to be an open autoclave pan to enable cleaning the tubes and other items following the sterilization. Place used microscope slides of bacteria in a sharps container designated for autoclaving or soak them in disinfectant solution for at least 30 minutes before cleaning or discarding them. Uh, place contaminated broken glass and other sharp objects, uh, anything likely to puncture an autoclave bag in a shops container designated for autoclaving. Uncontaminated broken glass do not need to be autoclave uh, but should be disposed of in a specialized broken glass container. Uh, that's all about the orientation to the microbiology laboratory. Thank you for your support and listening. Thank you.